I bring you a common mistake that a lot, of, a lot of beginner students do when they start to learn the Arabic language, especially those who their mother tongue is the English language. Now, these mistakes will make you sound less fluent, not only sound, but as well when writing, if you are expressing yourself through writing, it will make you seem less fluent and less mutqin, uh, less uh, skillful in the Arabic language. Now let's look at the source of this problem. The source of this problem is the fact that many students in the beginning of learning the Arabic language, they translate in their minds before they actually speak. So for example, in the examples of he came and spoke to me, okay, a very simple sentence, he came and spoke to me. They would say, huwa ja'a fakallamani. Or they would say, I will go and come back. Ana sa'adhab thumma arja. Or they would say, she called me and said, hiya tasalat bi, and so on, so on, so on. Uh, mentioning the, the, the dhamir before every sentence or before every fi'al, before every verb, it makes it sound repetitive. The reason why is because the verb itself, if, if you say ittasalat, that verb, it already holds the meaning of she called me. So I don't have to repeat the she. The same as if I say, Ja'a fakallamani, that verb already holds the meaning of that pronoun of he. So I don't have to say he as in huwa ja'a because now I'm repeating the damir, the pronoun twice. So it sounds repetitive, which sounds not natural to the ear that's accustomed uh, to the Arabic language, to the fluency of the Arabic language. And the reason why I say in the beginning that this happens mostly with the students who their mother tongue is the English language is because, for example, in my mother tongue, in the Spanish language, we don't use those type of structures when it comes to a sentence. So we say, for example, vino y se fue. We don't say el, which is the pronoun for he. We say vino straight away. And this is another, uh, you know, evidence that the Spanish language, uh, you know, they took a lot from the 800 years that the Muslims and, of course, the Arabs, um, you know, were living in the I Iberian Peninsula, which is today the Spanish uh, Empire. So that was just a side note for the Fa'ida. Here it is why I think that someone who... Uh, knows different languages is more capable to teach you than someone who only knows his language because he haven't gone through the process. It's just like, you know, a person who have, uh, you know, gained his spot in the NBA. It's not like the the son of LeBron James who was full of plugs and he just needed to be a little skillful and get a few opportunities in the league through his father. It's not the same, the one that came from the gutter, than the one that actually achieved it. So, so I feel like the, the program that I have designed, Andalus Institute, is very useful for the student who's starting from zero, from the very beginning. And the reason why is because I know what you're struggling with, and I know why you're making that mistake. For example, there was once... A student, he said, he said, قَضَيْتُ الْمَالَ كُلَّهُ or something like that. قَضَى, it means spend. If you go into the dictionary, English, Arabic, you will, say spend, you will see spend. And أَنْفَقَى is as well spend. However, أَنْفَقَى is spend when it comes to, related to, uh, to money. And قَضَى is spend when it comes to spending time. So, you know, if you don't, if I didn't know what he meant, like, oh, okay, you say in spend because you think that spend is the same as money, spending time. If I didn't know that it would have take, maybe he would have lost that faida. Maybe he would have, the teacher wouldn't, wouldn't even have given him the, the faida, that benefit, because he wouldn't understand where, why he's making that mistake. Or maybe, um, you know, it would have take it would have taken him, uh, you know, month for for him to realize. Like, oh, okay, so qada means these and anfaqa means for these other contexts, etc. 
So, um, so that to say that, uh, Alhamdulillah, I take pride for what we have built with Andrews Institute. I uh, highly encourage you guys to check it out. You don't lose anything. The worst that can happen is that you leave with three or four or five benefits after watching the presentation that I have prepared uh, through the link in the bio, which explains basically how I became fluent in the Arabic language myself in the space of uh, a year. Uh, so yeah, I highly encourage you to check that out. And inshallah, I'll see you guys on the other side. Assalamu alaikum.